Alrighty guys, May 10th. This is uh, Stanimals. And this is where we uh, stayed last night. Nice little house downtown. I'll tell you what, the accommodations here were uh, stellar. The place is cleaner than I'll get out. Stan does everything for you. He, uh, well, I'll tell you what, and it's going to be one of the uh, quickest back on the trails we've had at a, at a hostel here. So um, we're going to be back on. Matter of fact, he could have took us at 630. But um, we're actually going to go on the next, next uh, shuttle over. So we'll be on the trail by about 715. We got the sun coming over the trailer right here. Got a couple hikers getting ready to get back on the trail here with the next shuttle. How you doing, Dare? And uh, Stanimal's place is e excellent. I mean, cleaner than all get out. You got plenty of stuff in here. We stayed in the uh, honeymoon suite. Oh, me and Tractor uh, last night. Morning, sir. But uh, you got full range of the kitchen here. Just everything is nice and clean. Everything is just perfect. It's just an old, old downtown house. He's got some snacks to resupply. He's got the uh, laundry. He's got uh, pizzas in there and everything like that. He's got a couple bunk rooms. He's got a huge uh, living room here with a big old TV. He's got a killer massage chair inside out as using. And a whole uh, postcard. She's uh, eating her oatmeal. But just a fabulous place. The place is cleaner than all get out. He's very accommodating. She stayed up here in the second story. We stayed up here. This was our room. Everything was real nice. But um, just a great place to stay. Highly recommend Stanimals. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's Thursday, May 10th at Stanimal. Just dropped us off. I'll tell you, what a great host. This is going to be the earliest we're going to get back on the trail. Just a great place. I, uh, hey, I highly recommend Stanimals over here in Waynesboro. Ming's was excellent. So, uh... We're going to get back on the trail here. We're going to knock out how many, you know, we're just going to stop. We're just going to hike till we, you know, just want to pull over. But uh, got a couple guys honking at us. But uh, as soon as we see anything, we'll get it on tape for you. But we're just kind of walking the road. We're going to get back in the woods. All right, we're out. Alrighty guys, we're over here at the uh, Shenandoah National Park uh, Registry uh, and it will be, uh, the Shenandoah National Park will be uh, formally uh, called the SNP for short and here it is, there's my little registration permit, getting ready to fill it out, I already filled it out and uh, put it in a box, so we are on our way, SNP, hey, me and Tractor, it's on, alright, see you guys on the trail. All right, guys, here's the uh, SNP, the Shenandoah National Park. And uh, this is the trail. We've been hiking for about an hour. It's actually been pretty, pretty easy. But uh, usually, just like Tractor said, when you get to these little entrances and little uh, gaps and parkways that they start on, they're usually pretty nice. But um, yeah, all in all, so far, just nice and green. Haven't seen a bear yet, so uh, no bear sighting which is good for me but uh this is the trail there are my brooks cascadias still looking kind of newish i'll tell you what and going back to that you know the uh brooks cascadias that i had first the, the uh, first pair boy they went through some stuff they went through the rain and the snow and they were iced up and i mean they they, they took a beating 
and they did uh, about 730 plus so I was real happy with that shoe that's why I got another pair and uh, you know shoes are a big thing out here on the trail you got to have the right pair of shoes and everybody's different I see a lot of Brooks I see a lot of ultras um, you know and and just an, an array of uh, different shoes but really I see a lot of those uh, ultra Lone Peak 3.5s out here a lot of people are wearing those but I just couldn't get used to the zero drop but the Brooks Cascadia 12s for me uh, one size larger because your feet are gonna swell and uh, I'll tell you what they, they've been man a great, a great shoe so so far really no issues um, I do have kind of two little hot spots um, uh, just on the arch of the bottom of my feet and I put uh, some big band-aids on there today and it, it feels fine I don't think it's gonna be a problem but uh, still feel great um, you know left animals great hostel just cruising in the SNP hopefully the weather's gonna be perfect for us today we're just gonna go as far as we can you know just uh, we're not gonna push it we're not gonna you know just whenever you know we feel like uh, camping out we're gonna camp so uh, but this is the trail having a great day man it is super awesome uh, shout out to my niece hope you're having a great day she just um, completed her master's uh, she had a graduation uh, a couple days back which was really cool so we're all proud of her she's a uh, she's aces she's a great young gal and um, she's got a she's got a bright future ahead of her so props to her and props to my sister for raising such a great kid so man my hats off alrighty well we're gonna hike on down to SNP this is the trail and hope you guys have a great day all right that's my rant for today I'm out all right guys we're rolling up to a couple of communication towers we're still on the Shenandoah I'm gonna be on here for a while tractors gonna be off Mother's Day so that'll be good for him but uh, look at these big bad boys actually we were sitting over at Kroger's last night in them uh, in those uh, lawn chairs and tractor goes I bet you we're going way up there hey sure enough here we are look at them monsters everybody's got signal now alrighty we're back on trail Alrighty guys, we're over here at this uh, communications tower and they have these cool tractor seats you could sit in. Hey, and how fitting for a tractor hey, to come up here. So we took a couple snaps, you know, just kind of relaxed in a tractor seat up here on the side of a mountain. But uh, we're going to get back on trail. We're going to go right up in there. But, uh, yep, just some big old communication towers up here. Haven't hit any views yet, but if we see any, we're going to get them on there for you. All right. Got a guy from the government. He's in there working on whatever he's got to do. And uh, waiting on tractor. We're going to get out of here. Well, just came out of the woods. Getting ready to hit the uh, hard road up here. <clears throat> and that's what we walked into. Got another hiker way up there. He's uh, walking that little meadow. That's pretty cool. But uh, it was kind of cloudy this morning. And uh, it's actually cleared up. I wish, uh, wish it cloud up again. Because I'll tell you what. That, uh, them clouds keep the sun off of us. And it's uh, going to be hot. in heaven all right we're on trail i'll tell you folks even when you come across these on the trail hey they're a blessing all right we're out 
Well, we're on top of Little Calf Mountain, and that's where we were about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, so we've walked all the way from over there, all the way over here to this mountainside. But uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you look at it. Like yesterday when we were looking at these towers uh, in front of Kroger's in the lawn chairs, it was, you know, it, it's amazing to say, man, hey, we got to go do that tomorrow. And that's certainly what we're doing today. All right, pretty cool though. Kind of hazy back there. Not many views today, but we're walking them. We're doing some miles. All right, we're out. Pretty sweet views. Just wish them uh, power lines were out of the way. Look at that guy's house on top of that mountain right there. Is that pretty cool? That's aces right there. But yeah, I wish these power lines were out of the way. That'd be a heck of a lot better. That's what I just walked into right now. But can't do nothing about them power lines. We gotta have power, I guess. All right, we're back on trail. Alrighty guys, wrap up for uh, Thursday, May 10th. Uh, first day in the Shenandoahs. And our first 20 of uh, our trip. Uh, tractor and myself did a 20.3. Um, we kind of uh, booked it all the way over to um, the shelter here and uh, basically we got one of the last camp spots this place is crowded but um, the shelter was packed uh, all the camping spots were taken we basically got like the last two uh, down here on the end and uh, we're, we're um, basically uh, just camping out again right when we got here we set up about 10 minutes later Hey, it started to storm, so uh, we made it just in time. But uh, not really that much on the views today. Shenandoah's, uh, the Shenandoah's, uh, for the most part so far. Hey, I don't want to jinx myself, but uh, uh, you know, good, good, good terrain. Um, uh, we had a girl ahead of us um, said she saw like two cubs and her and her mom, and uh, but we didn't see any bears. Um, uh just uh just kind of a walk through the woods so sh first day shenandoah is really good um uh, when we left the hostel uh, we forgot our hamburgers so uh here here it is we're uh getting ready to have a couple burgers tonight and, and we left them in the refrigerator back at the last hostel so that kind of you know it is what it is we uh, made do and had something else but uh we're actually headed down to a campground um tomorrow we should probably be there early i think um either early or right before lunch time probably and uh, we're going to get uh, something to eat down there, too, you know, so no big deal. Hey, it all pans out. But uh, all in all, a uh, great day today, first day in the Shenandoahs, you know. So Thursday, May 10th, hope all is well. And uh, I'm going to hit the rack because it's about 8.30. All right.